May 7th, 2012. We're looking at a picture from Space Weather sent in by Alan Friedman. It says, one of the largest sunspot groups in years rotated over the sun's northeastern limb this weekend. With at least four dark cores larger than Earth. This is AR 1476. Sprawls more than 100,000 kilometers from end to end. It says it's an easy target for backyard so solar telescopes. Now, this was taken in uh, from Buffalo, New York. It says the active region is crackling with impulsive M-class solar flares based on the sunspot's complex beta-gamma magnetic field. NOAA forecasters estimate a 70% chance of more M-flares during the next 24 hours. There's also a 5% chance of powerful X-flares. Guys, and that's going up as this thing comes around. Now, guys, I've switched to SOHO, which is uh, Earth-facing. This is the CRO2 lens. This is the last frame that was recorded. There's your date. May the 3rd, 1612. Nothing past this CME release has uploaded, guys. We did register our first M-class flare. Now, the Boulder Index, I think, has been damaged some. But I put a, a couple of new links on the solar page, the first page of the website. I'll show you a couple other things. Now, you can see that we've registered an M1 here. Now, we've seen some larger flares in the past month that were indicated lower on this X-ray flux. So we're what I'm going to keep an eye on these. Just, I think the uh, instruments have either been turned down or damaged. Not sure about that. But uh, that's the latest flare, and I want to show it to you on the SDO. Now, these are the latest images from the SDO, which is also Earth-facing. This is 1476. You can see that it's crackling. You can see that filament there. But this is the one they're watching because a lot of these are, are single magnetic fields, and this is a double magnetic field. You've got alpha, gamma instead of beta. That's the normal. And those are the cross wires that cause the X flares. That's why it's going up. You you can see the travel in one day. That's what I've got this set at. So in just a few days, guys, you're gonna this thing is gonna be earth facing. Now switch to the stereo site. This is CRO two. This is A. It's, it has not been damaged like B. This is the start of today. This is Earth facing. This came off the left limb this morning. I'll play that through. Start it back and step it through. You can see it's very active, guys. And, and we've got a lot of our instruments down. We've uh, Soho's down. One of our Earth facing satellites. Our some of our magneto pause and magnetosphere simulators are down. Right was we're getting into this peak and now. Soho kind of surprises me. Let me back this up. I'll show you. Now, when you come to the stereo link, it's on the front page of the website. This is the page you'll come to. And I, I want to answer one quick question here about where the planets. Guys, if you click on that stereo and come down, it says what planets are currently visible. I know a lot of you guys know it, but I get emails. This will come down and start circling the uh, planets where they're located in the images. Now, also, guys, if you come here click on latest images it gives you uh, two satellites it gives you SDO excuse me three satellites SOHO and B if you come down here to your SOHO Lasco C2 no data now that concerns me because the uh, SOHO did not take a direct hit like stereo B did on the last uh, large flare but it's gone down I don't know if the instruments are down or they have gone to ground but um, some of these satellites you know they're owned by the Vatican they watch the Sun now looking at the latest flare tracker guys it starts yesterday on the 6th on your timestamp on the 7th we're in the pressure of this you can pause the video and see it the second wave that came off of 1479 guys we will be on the tail end of that on the uh, right edge on the 10th so we're going to see pressure through the day, so some solar wind increase, proton density increase, ionospheric pressure increase. But guys, check this out, and I'm putting a video from NASA on the uh, website. It's pretty neat. Check it out. It's about the uh, Stereo B 
and how they watch these solar flares approach Earth. Have a safe day.